Welcome to the first installment of the CG Character Workflow from Fuse to Mixamo to Photoshop. In this segment we are going to build the character in Adobe Fuse. As you see here in Fuse you got several tabs. We're going to end up through Assemble, Customize, Clothing, and then Texture. But at first here in Assemble we're going to go through Head, Torso, Legs, and Arms. Let's begin with the Head. As soon as it comes up, you see that you've got several choices to move about the workspace to view your character as it is built. The pan and zoom, rotate and zoom camera, and center camera. So with the rotate and zoom, I can take a look at how it's shaping up. Next, I want to choose the torso. And as you choose a torso for your male or female character, Make sure you follow with the same leg and the same torso. They're all labeled. Let's go to the Customize tab. With each tab of the character, you have endless possibilities for tweaking the physiology of your character. Give it some time, play with it, and customize your character just like you see fit. In addition to moving the sliders here and there, you could zoom into your character with a scroll wheel, pan around to get to the area that you want, and with your selection tool you are able to target particular areas and if you don't want to use the sliders you can push and pull on those elements to get what you would like. If we take a look at the face and you zoom in on the face you'll find that some of the areas that you select will end up mirroring from the other side. You'll get to some controls here in the face that are different on this side but keep in mind that that is is going to mirror it's just the Adobe folks way of giving you options and they're easy to select you can lengthen the nose push the eyes together etc give it a longer neck make your character muscular play with it get it to work and take a look at the tab for the face. Dial up a little bit of confidence. Maybe get a smile. Yeah, perhaps a little bit of uh, a mouth open. Showing some teeth. She's got that confidence, which is going to be important for later in the process. If you use Fuse to put upon your comic book cover, etc., or to draw from, then you got this nice expression for the moment and the story you're trying to tell. So now it's time to go over to the clothing tab. For my demo character, I'm going to choose the moto jacket. Skinny pants. Maybe some saddle shoes, Oxfords. And with some hair, these things we can change color in a moment. You guys have hats, I wear beards. Why not? Let's get some gloves. These look pretty cool. Take a look, ready to go to the Texture tab. Over in the Texture tab, you click on a body part, lots of choices. The one thing that you want to do in each one of the selectable areas, shoes, gloves, etc., and hair, you want to ramp up 
the texture to be 1024. Hair, jacket, accoutrements. This will make your print resolution experiments inside our class a little bit better. Let's use the shoes as an example to customize some of the parts and pieces. We see we have the main leather. I've got a theme later on with red accents. So I'm going to give her some outlandish red shoes. You guys can dial in RGB values if you want to. You can change the wear, color, you can change the intensity of the texture. Go in and experiment with each one of these things. So inside the gloves, for instance, I've got different panels. I'm going to change the main fabric color to fit my theme, which I have kind of this uh, intense royal blue for my idea. Notice that the color is separate from the wear color that you can find in a different tab. Now it's time to save your work and move to the next step. So once your object is saved, we need to move into Photoshop. These buttons aren't going to work for us. Save to CC libraries, we can't use that in the lab. That's a individual Adobe login problem. And we also can't send to Maximo, but we're going to end up in Maximo. So now is the time to export your character. Now we're going to go to export and we're going to export as an OBJ. Make sure that the textures aren't packed together. Before you go straight to export, you need to make sure that you have an organized system so that when you package this dump of files isn't spilled out into a collection of other files and also name the folder as well so that you know what stage these exports are. We're going to be exporting and zipping and uploading so this is Demo Lady export from Fuse. So inside that folder now we can work the file name. This will take a moment. Let's see what we got. Here's my folder. I know where it's going, where it's coming from. Inside here are all my textures. The file that's important is the demo lady. And we're going to move over to Miximo, which is an upload process. So we have to zip this folder. Make sure it's the .zip. Now it's time to move over into a web browser.